Hi everybody, I'm Delia Colvin with FlyRight Aviation Education. Thanks for joining me today. If you'd like to see more of these videos, go ahead and subscribe down below. You can hit the little bell and you will be notified every time we put up a new one. All right, so today we're talking about uh, the standard weather brief. Now, this is my little check sheet here and what I'm looking for and what I'm trying to get you to do is when you look at a standard weather brief, here is your checklist of all the things that you're going to check just right through here right you're going to check all of these these are all available on 1-800-weatherbrief.com so as you go through and you look at each piece of this what you're looking for is is there an indicator of ifr conditions is there an indication of mountain obscuration or icing uh, we just looked at uh, the convective sigmat and center weather advisories and there was an indicator of thunderstorms. Now, when you see a convective sigmet or a center weather advisory, you have thunderstorms. So that's interesting there. All right, let's go on to the current conditions. That's what we're going to address right now. Now, current conditions is more than just the METARs. Current conditions are the satellite, the radar, and I like to include the VAD winds as well. Those are all your current conditions that are going to help you see what is right now. But for right now, we're just going to take a look at this. So we're departing from Asheville. We're going to Chattanooga. So here you can look down the left-hand side. Now this is 1-800-weatherbrief.com. And you can see right along the top here, we've got all the areas that we're going to be looking at right in a row. You can just go through. It's a checklist, but I would use this checklist because it's going to get you thinking about what you're looking for in every single one of these. So vfr conditions that's showing all along the road if you saw that you would think oh we're in great condition however here we've got wind at asheville 160 at five visibility one zero 2700 or 3700 scattered ceiling of 10,000 broken now those mountains just to the west are about six to seven thousand feet um, I think we're still all right because they, they're lower as you go to the south. So we're heading a little bit to the southwest, and I think we're going to be fine there at 8,500. And then we get to the remarks. Now, I usually tell pilots not to worry about remarks. However, when you have a note like this, because oftentimes you're just going to see uh, something that is just a lot of coding, okay? And that is for the National Weather Service. However, here it's got some really important information. It says... Lightning distant northwest through east, northwest through east. Uh, that That's probably coming from this cell right here and through east. And then it says rain ended zero, zero. So right over Asheville, it's not snowing. Now the rest of this, this is sea level pressure. This talks about how much precipitation. And these are various codes that are just indicating what is actually in that weather report. And um, and so the National Weather Service has a record of it. Now, if you don't know how to read this, you can click plain text and you can see what it says here. And it will break this all down. However, you can see very quickly that if you tried to scan down and see what the situation was based on the plain text, you're going to have to read all of this and you're not going to be able to get the picture pretty quickly. So I recommend that you stick with this. And here we go down and it says thunderstorms in the vicinity. What does that mean? That means thunderstorms are within five to 10 miles of the airport, otherwise clear below 12,000. And you can see here, we've got 6,500 scattered, but otherwise clear below 12,000. This airport reporting a ceiling of 10,000 broken and looks pretty good until we get down here and we start seeing some lower ceilings, lightning distance south through southwest. That's gonna be south of our route. And then Chattanooga, wind 2607, visibility 10, few clouds at 6,500, few clouds at 12,000, 16,000 scattered, ceiling 25,000 broken, temperatures 3,0, And then looking in the remarks, we've got uh, CBs, cumulonimbus. Cumula means heaps or piles. Nimbus means rain clouds, distant south. So uh, they're saying well south. That's probably down here, right? So here we've got our current conditions, and we've got a good picture of what's going on. Um, but let's take a look and see what we could 
get from this. So was there an indicator of IFR conditions in here? Well, here's the deal. Anytime you have thunderstorms in the area, you have a chance of all the adverse conditions intensified significantly. So even though we're looking at great visibilities, great ceilings or no ceilings, still because of these thunderstorms in the vicinity, I'm going to say, yeah, we got a chance of IFR conditions. Do we have a chance of mountain ups? And I'm going to just put a little with T here. And actually, we'll just make that a T. So there are chances of thunderstorms, and that's going to affect the mountain obscuration as well. Also, that can affect icing as you have changes of temperatures within those CBs and certainly turbulence. Uh, we don't know about mountain wave or mechanical turbulence. That we would look somewhere else. And certainly, is there an indicator that there's thunderstorms? Absolutely, there is. All right, let's take a look at pilot reports. We don't have any. See that? It says zero. But we see some further south and north. None affecting our route right here. As I said earlier, I like to check the VAD winds. So we're going to go ahead and do that. I like to go to pilotsandweather.com slant Sierra Sierra Romeo dot HTML. And here up here, you have to scroll down. Uh, what we're going to do instead is we're going to, because we're not actually checking radar right now, we're actually looking at the current conditions. So here we are, and we want to see what these winds are doing right here. That's the closest reporting point. Now, if you're not familiar with this, this is the bad winds. It is a current report. Uh, it is uh, uh, 21 25 Zulu, and this last one came out at 21 19 Zulu. You can see it gave us about the last hour of reports. It goes from just above the surface elevation, all from 2,000 feet to 50,000 feet. Now, these arrows are pointing in the direction that they're moving to, and this is uh, about 15 knots. So the long bar is 10, the short one is 5, and the winds are coming out of the west. We name them for where they're coming from. So here we can see that the winds are, and it's a little tough to see, but it looks like it's just about 10 knots. As we go up to 3,000 feet, it's 15 knots. Back down, uh, right around 15 knots, and it stays pretty stable all the way up. We're going to be topping out these mountains. So um, I see winds that are going to be about, uh, looks like 15 knots going over the crest of those mountains. So that's looking pretty good. So based on that, uh, was there any indicator? There's no pilot reports and VAD winds. Uh, did we have any, we're not going to have IFR or mountain obscuration indicated there, uh, nor icing. However, turbulence, it does give us some indications on turbulence, um, and it doesn't look like it's going to be too much of a factor. Uh, mountain wave and mechanical turbulence, we'd be looking for winds over 20 knots at the crest of those mountains. There's not. However, there's thunderstorms there. Uh, and that was, but that we're not seeing really here, right? So, yeah, we're going to have some, we're probably going to have all of that. All right, so the bad winds didn't look too bad and didn't really support any kind of uh, situation with that. Uh, and so the other current conditions that we have are satellite and radar, which I like to look at first. We're not going to look at those right now, but right now here is where we're at. We've looked at the pilot reports, and yes, it certainly looks like we're going to have some conditions based on the thunderstorms. All right, no other significant weather showing up here. If you'd like more videos like these, please be sure to hashtag FlyRightPilots in the comments below. Let us know if you want more like this. So thanks for joining me. Please like and subscribe. And if you know someone that this could help, please feel free and share it. You can also follow us on Facebook and Instagram and be sure to join me for our weekly webinars where we go through entire briefings and really break down the weather there. Um, you can find those links down below. Hope to see you there.